The North Bay is one area expected to see plenty of rain from these systems. It will be a welcome relief for fire crews have been very busy battling a number of fires over the last few months, even the last few years. Ground Force Jonathan McCall continues our coverage now from Santa Rosa after talking with fire officials there. Look, Jonathan. Yeah, Pam, Ken, good evening. Right now, we are seeing a bit of a lull in the rain here in Santa Rosa. Just a few moments ago, it was a downpour, but once again, things have eased up in the last few minutes, but it is still raining, as you can see right now where we are. want to step out of the picture here so you can see some of those slick roads and uh, see a better, better picture of the rain as it is falling and some of the uh, conditions that we are seeing here. But we do want to show you some video from earlier before the rain rolled in this evening. The area uh, got a taste of rain from the system that fell over the weekend, but folks here in Santa Rosa say they are actually happy to see real rain falling. It's also a welcome relief for crews with the Santa Rosa Fire Department, and they say while they have not been busy compared to years past, they say that uh, any drop of moisture falling from the sky is appreciated to help lower the fire danger in this area. Officials say that they are actually getting ready to switch gears because of the rain that is falling. They say just a few days ago they were battling red flag warning conditions and now they're possibly preparing for an atmospheric river from all the rain that is expected to fall and that could cause big problems for a number of burn scars that are still in this area from recent fires. Uh, we thought, especially given the conditions we've experienced, the drought, the critically dry fuels, that we were uh, going to be likely faced with another potential devastating uh, season here in the North Bay. So the rains uh, are a, definitely a welcome sight. Uh, we're just hopeful that we get what we refer to as uh, beneficial wetting rains, where we get those systems that have the breaks in between, enough rainfall where it starts to help deal with the drought, helps potentially end fire season, but not too much rain where it starts to uh, potentially negatively affect or impact our burn scars here locally. And because of that, the city of Santa Rosa has now set up a sand bagging station at the municipal center here so folks can go and fill up their sandbags to prepare for those possible atmospheric river uh, rains that come in those areas impacted by those burn scars. That is available right now for folks here in Santa Rosa to go and fill up those sandbags. Another quick note I want to let you know, uh, Pam and Ken, just in the last 30 minutes or so, as the rain started to move in, the temperatures dropped very quickly in this area. So not only are folks dealing with the rain, uh, they're also dealing with a big temperature drop as well. Coming up all new tonight on Cron 4 News at 9 o'clock, talking with Santa Rosa fire officials. They say they are going to be monitoring all three of these systems headed our way very closely. I'll let you know which one they say that they will be paying close attention to over the next few days. We're live tonight in Santa Rosa. Jonathan McCall, Cron 4 News.